Good evening. It was described by nature lovers and the local fishing community as an environmental disaster. Thousands of dead crabs, lobsters and other shellfish washed up on beaches from Teesside to North Yorkshire. But 18 months later, campaigners say the damage to sea life has continued. Well, now a new crowd-funded investigation has been launched off the Tees coastline to see if chemical pollution was the culprit. Local agencies and the government insist recent research has already ruled out dredging and chemicals as a cause of the problem. Our political correspondent Luke Walton reports. Plumbing the depths, looking for answers. At the edge of the Tees estuary, scientists are scooping sediment from the sea floor. They're looking for signs that pollution caused by dredging triggered a dramatic die-off that devastated shellfish along 40 miles of coastline. We're looking to test a series of hypotheses to see whether or not some of the contents in those sediments could have driven natural die-offs of different marine species. The academics from Durham, Newcastle and York universities will spend two days collecting samples which will then be analysed in the laboratory. The project's funded by the fishing industry and by public donations. People have been donating anywhere from £10 up to £1,000. Um, you know, it's meant that we can buy a new grabber and continue on the independent research that's needed to try and get to the bottom of what's going on. The government say, well, we've had an expert panel, we've had tests, lots of people have looked at this. Basically, we have covered every corner on this. But they haven't provided any answers. In January, a report from the independent expert panel concluded a disease or parasite was the most likely cause of the die-off and that it was very unlikely release of any toxic chemical due to maintenance dredging could have caused the deaths. A judgment, it said, was backed by seawater testing. Local fishermen aren't convinced. They're calling for dredging at the nearby Freeport to be halted, saying stocks are still well down. The situation at the moment is dire. The, uh, it's not only the potting grounds now, look, um, the prawn grounds have died off uh, from Hartlepool up towards Seaham. So the guys have got to get up towards the weir and the time to see any sign of life. A spokesperson for the South Tees Development Corporation said... As a public body, we always follow the science and the science is clear. A multi-agency investigation carried out at the time of the die-off concluded dredging and chemical pollution was not the cause. It said the more recent expert panel, including... World-leading marine biologists ruled out dredging and chemical pollution as a cause. But supporters of this new investigation say there are still unanswered questions as they seek clarity in the muddy waters of the North East. Right, so Luke is here now, 18 months on, still no agreement on this, Luke? I think that would be an understatement, Carol, absolutely no sign of agreement, strong feelings still on both sides of this debate. Now, as we heard on one side, we have the South Tees Development Corporation, chaired by Tees Valley Conservative Mayor Ben Houchen. He rejects any link between the die-off and dredging. And meanwhile, we've got campaigners who say deeper dredging needed to develop the Tees Freeport, a project, of course, championed by Mr Houchen, could make the problem worse. Mr Houchen calls that scaremongering. And like Mr Houchen, the government also points to the recent independent expert report saying dredging was very unlikely to be the problem. So it's sounding like this debate is going to go on for some time? I think it will. I mean, the government's critics point out that the expert report is actually very inconclusive, has lots of caveats. Labour politicians say there must be more research, there must also be more financial help for the local fishing industry. And in the meantime, we're expecting the intermarine findings of this sediment testing within a few months. That's likely to stir up this debate even more. Right. Luke, thank you.